It's an especially busy day for salvager Drew Pritchard at his showroom in Conwy, North Wales. I'm investing in a trip to Ireland. Um, sometimes I have to go much further afield to find my stock. It's always a gamble, but it's worth a punt. I might find something, I might not. Will I cover costs? I really don't know. But Ireland's a beautiful country with a load of history, so there should be something there for me. And okay. <laughs> right. Oh, OK. Look after him. Look after I the business. I will. Look after yourself. OK. And uh, remember, not too much of the black stuff. I promise. From Conwy, it's less than an hour's drive to the ferry at Hollyhead. And after two hours in the sunshine on the Irish Sea, Drew and T touch ground in Dublin. Ireland is the third largest island in Europe. The country has made its mark throughout the world, and with its long cultural heritage, Drew's hopeful of finding some traditional Irish antiques. I love Ireland, it's so beautiful, so beautiful, and it is stuffed full of old houses. The antiques trade in Ireland is particularly vibrant as well. The first destination is 60 miles southwest of Dublin, near the town of Mount Trath in County Leash. It's idyllically set in the foothills of the Sleeve Bloom Mountains, the oldest mountain range in Europe. Today, I'm in for a treat. Yes, we're going to Roundwood House, which is my absolute 100% favourite type of house. It's an 18th century house in the Georgian Manor, and it's totally untouched. The most authentic Georgian-Irish experience in the country you can have. Roundwood House dates from 1741. A country house set in rambling gardens and a welcoming committee of animals. Wee, wee, wee. Hannah and Paddy Flynn live here with their two girls and run a guest house. Roundwood is our home, it's our business, it's where we're raising our kids, it's uh, everything, it's our whole life. So it, uh, it's fun, but it's hard work. The good thing is, it's completely untouched. The bad thing is, because it was boarded up most of the 60s before you know, they were going to pull these buildings down, I can more or less guarantee there will be absolutely none of the original furniture in there. Yeah, we invited Drew down today to uh, help us unclutter the, the house and uh, maybe I raise a bit of freedom. more importantly, raise some money. <laughs> the house just swallows money, so we're always trying to figure out ways to bring in a bit of extra. Oh, look at this, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go, look yeah. at that. Oh, that's so untouched. Go on. Okay. Lovely job. And look. Doggy. Nice how are you doing? You. Hello, Hello, Paddy. How are you? Good Very to good. meet you. This good is Lucy, you. our general manager. <laughs> <laughs> and Emily. Hello, girls. Uh, how are you hey. doing? How's it going? Hello. Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. Um, I love this house already. Oh, okay. just, yeah. <laughs> it's more than I expected, particularly this. Oh, brilliant. Glad it's you like Absolutely it. wonderful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Very low maintenance as well. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing money at it constantly. Yes, yeah, yes, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Well, um, you know why we're here. Obviously, we're you know we're here to have a look at some antiques you may have for sale. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'd love to have a look around the house if there's a possible. Yeah. Would that be okay? Yeah. 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 yeah sure. Should we go? So this is the study. Um, oh, it's lovely. Love the so, ceiling. Yeah, the yeah, ceiling's gorgeous. Isn't it yeah. beautiful? Yeah. I can't get over how untouched it is because my particular favourite house is this period. Okay. Oh, the really early Georgian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the early Georgian stuff. And I think the Irish country houses did it the best. Oh. It was that bit softer, the little details, like the little fanning you've got fanning, in yeah. there, you know. Yeah, yeah I like just it. had four hours in the van of that. <laughs> <laughs> I do go on a bit about it, to be honest. Well, you've got some really nice bits in here, actually. So where did all the furniture come from? My parents bought the house furnished in 1983. Yeah. And um, they are very keen auction attenders uh, as well. I so see. they've added to it over the years. It is remarkable. I love it. <laughs> I love it, it's great. Thank it's you. so nice, it's so nice. 
Would you like uh, to buy it? Uh, <laughs> I would. How actually. much do you love it? <laughs> I, yeah. I love it a lot. I love it a lot. <laughs> in the van. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what I do like as well. That pair of candlesticks you got on top of there, where have they come from? No idea. Good no question. idea. Let's see if they're original. We might have to make a call to my parents who are in Greece at the moment. Uh. Cobwebs and all. Aren't they nice? They've not been converted either. I no. I have never noticed them before. <laughs> really? <laughs> How long have you been living here? <laughs> Just a couple of weeks. Then. I think we'll sack. I think we'll sack the cleaner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like those. These mahogany ionic column candlesticks have not been converted to electric, and the drip trays add to their appeal. The pair could fetch around four hundred pounds or four hundred and fifty euros. They're a great colour. They're a good size. They're a pair. They're rare. They're interesting. They've got it all. Okay. Yeah. If you don't buy them, they'll be on our dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a bid in of 200, 250 pounds. I like them that much. Uh, yeah. Can they go on the list of calling? Absolutely. Mum sure. and Dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're they're number one, and I'd love to see some more of the house because it's just so gorgeous. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> You're saying all the right stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a lovely room, isn't it? This is one yeah. of the, the rooms you let out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just this is nice. Yeah, I like it. I twist. like it. You've been in here nearly 15 seconds now, and you haven't made an offer on the mirror. <laughs> uh, not on the mirror. No, not on the mirror. But what you're leaning on. It really? Uh. Yeah. I thought you might. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. It's had a big repair. It's had, it's, it's cracked at some time in the past. It's been welded, and but see all these little dot welds where it's been. Sure. Sure. It's an unusual one with the stick stand at the side. See this hole here? It would have had a bar coming out like that. Sure. And he sticks down, so it's a hall table. There's a hall table. Hall table. It's English and it's 19th century, uh, so it's not right for this house at all. Um, but it's good looking. And you just walk in, put your umbrellas in either side, the water would drip down into the drip trays, you tip the drip trays out. And you'd put your, well, you wouldn't put your car keys on it in the 19th century, but you'd certainly put something else on top. I think the condition's too bad for me, which is okay. a shame, because initially I was just like, oh, I love it, but see how that's level? And then it just kicks up where it's been repaired. Sure. And it's repaired there and there. This whole section's there. been off at one point. Yeah, that whole piece. OK. And it's missing that element, so I'm not sure whether it's, it's saleable again now. Is it more useful to you in here? It's a unique piece in it. Yeah. Pe people do comment on... I think maybe I'm not going to bid you on this. Okay. But okay. it's good. It's uh, the casting's pretty crisp. Heavy as well. I've to be careful with it. It might crack again. It, so it, it, it flexes off. quite badly when you. If you Does it? Yeah. If you lift it there, that, that whole section flexes. That's a shame. That's quite nice. Still a nice piece though. Great. Yeah, they don't turn up that often. Okay. Okay. All right. Next room. <laughs> next. So this is the drawing room. This would be the room we greet guests in, and they'd have their cup of tea when they arrive. And... Oh, it's lovely. But to be honest, as soon as I walked in, I did see something I quite like the look of. Okay. Straight away. Do you tell? That sofa. The one at the right. back here? OK. Yes. All right. Yeah. It is um, old. Yeah. Keep and going. And salmon. Those are the two <laughs> things I know I about didn't, it. That's good. It's unusual. Why for? Um, just to have this, the feet like this. Right. That's, that's slightly odd. But it's, you can see where it's all come loose and been hammered back in and it's got what of a ply and whatever underneath there. This Regency sofa frame is original, but the upholstery is modern and would have to be stripped. Even without reupholstering, it could sell for fifteen hundred pounds or seventeen hundred euros. Is, is this for something you'd want to part with? That um, is uh, for, yeah, relatable. Yeah, for the right price, I suppose. Yeah. Ah. There yeah. we go. Well, uh, this, then... is, this is who's in charge. <laughs> this is who's in charge, really. really. Don't. <laughs> we would have to replace it, I suppose, would yeah, be sure. the main thing. Yeah, you'd have to get something that else in there. Uh, we'd need a nice couch, and couches aren't cheap. Um... Well, it's really uncomfortable as well, isn't it? Mm. See, he's, trying to, he's trying to hammer you down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it is. I'll take it. He's trying to hammer you down. <laughs> For me, um, furniture, it's all about just the proportion, really, and just the way it is, the way it sits. And this has got it. It's absolutely dead right. It's in terrible condition, but it's dead right. Um, Price-wise, any idea? No, no, no. I'd have to let you. 
I something. would say... Drew is in Ireland on a quest to find different and unusual stock for his showroom. The ferry, the diesel and the hotels. We need to make a few grand out of this trip. He's in County Leash at Roundwood House. His offer of 250 euros on these candlesticks is on hold and he's hoping to make a deal on this Regency sofa. Fifty, as it stands. Four thousand five hundred. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think again. <laughs> yeah, four hundred and fifty. Yeah, my only concern would be, I think we would really struggle to replace it for that. Price. Really? For I thought, yeah, I think you'd be able to get one for that. Do you? Yeah, I think so. The tricky thing with the sofa is it has to be replaced by, well, this week because the house is being used for weddings at the weekend. So, not the ideal way to buy it. Hannah is going to present Drew's bids to her parents, who are holidaying in Greece. They own the items and will have final say. It all hinges on this one phone call. It's uh, always tense. There's nothing I can do. Really, I'm just hoping they come back and say, yeah, it's all yours at that money. Hi. Right, how'd Hi. it go? So, uh, they would be happy to sell the, One candlesticks. Of the candlesticks. No, both candlesticks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so candlesticks, yes. Yeah. 250. Couch, how much? Oh, they didn't say a price didn't for say. the couch. No. Mm. They just thought to replace it would be too, too much, much work. Okay. Yeah. Just no. Well no, I could certainly phone back, but I think it would have to be quite a bit more, quite to be a honest. Bit more. It's yeah. just not right, it's just yeah. not enough in it. Gutted I'm not taking the sofa home. I love to put classy, interesting, stylish, tasteful items on my website for my clients. And that was it, you know, that was a great item. With only one small purchase made in the house, Drew's hopes now rest on the outbuildings. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling athletic, you can jump through the window. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I can go through that. Even with my bad knee. Ugh. There you go. Hello, doggy. What are you doing? Where did the table come from? It came from an old school. Locally? Yeah, yeah. Did you buy it? Um, uh, we t they, they were closing down and we uh, showed up with a trailer. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Would you consider getting rid of it? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay. I think it's pretty twisted. Mm. See how twisted that is now, look at that. So the top's just completely oh, yeah, bent. Yeah. yeah. There's one on the other side as well. Might be drier away from the window. Okay. Um, okay, if we can pull this one out a little bit, or is that one easier to get? They're neither, neither easy to get to, are they? No. Are you good there? You okay, buddy? Yeah. Um, ish. I'm about to run out of space. OK, put it down. Yeah. The tables yeah. could be a fabulous find. But after four years in the barn, are they in good enough condition to buy? That feels very steady, but that I know. all right, that one. Yeah. I think I should be able to get my... I should be able to sit underneath that. That one feels about right. Do you want a chair? <laughs> oh, thanks, T. <laughs> nice. Just check the height, oh, it's fine. Spot Beautiful. on. Yeah, Beautiful. that's great. I can use that as long as it can be used as a dining table. Done. done. Or kitchen table. Um, we need to remove the chewing gum underneath it or leave it? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <Yeah>. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the pleasures buying anything from schools. They're always caked in chewing gum. Yeah. They always are. Turns out the tabletops are solid oak plank. They were once used as school woodworking tables, so are covered in nicks. But once restored, they could be worth about two thousand eight hundred pounds, or three thousand two hundred euros. What did you pay for it? We didn't. The price of petrol to get to the yeah. <laughs> So it was. This is all luck money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the pair. Sure. Three hundred. Yeah. 
That's good. I'm sure. I'm sure we should say three fifty. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. You can't sorry. do four hundred. No. <laughs> three fifty. No. <laughs> it's really easy. Two fifty. Two fifty. Yes, sold. <laughs> yeah, sure. But no, I'll definitely give those a try for okay. sure. Thank you very much. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Cheers. Today's paid off. It's been worth it just to get those pair of tables. They'll sell quickly and easily because they're perfect size for anybody's kitchen. You can get a lot of people around them. They're cool looking. They've got a great story. That's great. Great day, very, very happy with the way things went. We have a, a leaking roof at the moment that needs urgent attention, so I think it'll probably go towards that. And then to the pub. And then to the pub. <laughs> I could quite happily turn native and, and come and live in Ireland. Definitely. Yeah, especially in a house like that. Yeah, quite easily, quite easily. What do you want to do now? Well, what we could do is, as part of our culture exchange, we could yeah. go to the local library and read up on some things. Right. Or we could go to a local hostelry and speak to some people and maybe try the local delicacies. I like the idea of it. I think a pint of the black stuff for the pair of us tonight. Oh, okay. We deserve it. We've got a good day today. Good day. After a night of a relaxation, it's less than an hour's drive north from Roundwood to the town of Tullamore in County Offaly. A buzzing little town, this, isn't it? It's is busy. Pretty good. I'm liking it. I like it. Tullamore is surrounded by Ireland's oldest primordial oak forest and home to the imposing Charleville Castle. This is a full-on, drop-your-pants, 18th-century, Gothic castle. It's not a house that looks like a castle, it's a castle, in the old-fashioned sense of the word. Starting in 1798, it took 14 years to build this grand castle for the Earl of Charleville. But with no heirs, it was eventually abandoned, and by the late 20th century had fallen into disrepair. The castle would have been lost if not for a team of volunteers led by owner Bonnie Vance and engineer Dudley Stewart. The great thing about Drew coming here is that uh, <laughs> there's so much stuff that... Uh, in, there's too much stuff in the building. And uh, if he can find something and, and it can kind of contribute to the chapel roof, I mean, that'll be just brilliant, you know? Oh, my life. Look at that. We're on for a good day. Oh. I'll tell you what, we're on for a long day. Look at the size of this place. Best thing to, yeah. to, to describe it. I don't know where to start, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, no, neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll ever finish. It's incredible. Can we have a tour of the building before we go sure any further? Can. I'd love to see some more. Sure, no yeah? problem. Where through here? Come into the gallery. Blimey. It's seriously impressive, isn't it? Ah, oh, she's a beauty. Yeah. <laughs> What state was it in then? How much was left? Well, bits and pieces were off. Um, the colours were rather um, 60s psychedelic. Oh, really? <laughs> um, and the, while we were up changing the colour, we did any plaster restoration that we needed to do. So, how long have you been on this then? Uh, 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. We do fundraising, events, events, uh, festivals, tours, haunted paranormal nights. Um, <laughs> anything to turn anything, a quid. Almost anything we can. <laughs> good, good. 
And uh, I mean, that's why I'm here to try and help you, okay. help you, uh, help you along. If I can Great. buy some stuff off you, you never know. Great. Um, and also, I believe there's a ceiling here that's by William Morris. Yes, there is. Yeah. Could we have a look at that? Sure. That'd be okay. Uh, it's here. to the dining room. Ah, I see. It doesn't yes. look like William Morris at all. Oh, uh, it's the stenciling. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yes. It's all original, except for the lilac. William Morris is a very particular hero of mine. He started so much of the arts and crafts movement, re-energised Britain to make beautiful things by hand. He apparently decorated that room in the 1890s for a wedding, so he did the carpets, the wallpaper, and the stenciling to the ceiling. That's... The whole thing is just astonishing. There's not a day that I walk around this building that I don't notice something new. Uh, I, I'm amazed by Bonnie and Dudley to even think about taking this on. You know, it's a lifetime's work here, times ten. It's incredible. Really, really brave. Ah, so what's, what's this room, then? Uh, this is the library. Oh, yeah. These are fab, aren't they? We're not ready to do a lot in here without a lot of assistance because it's original colour yeah. and it's original paint. Yeah, yeah. So this, so it's just stabilising it. This is completely authentic. I see. Yeah. I, won't, I won't try and buy the bookcases then. Those are wonderful. So pure Gothic and in such incredibly untouched condition that they're a real rarity and something I would definitely buy. But obviously the best place for those is exactly where they are now. Absolutely fabulous. It is. Even under the stairs is carved. None of the original pieces can be sold, but up the 19th century staircase, in an area off limits to tourists, there are rooms packed with bric a brac collected over the years. So, what have we got here? These are just storage areas. Have a sift through. Plenty to rummage through, but is there anything to buy? There's the, the sort of a little air of frustration creeping in, or, well, not frustration, more sort of thinking, oh dear, because everything I'm seeing is just sort of no good at all. Drew and T have left Wales behind and crossed the sea for a shopping trip in Ireland. Today, they're near the town of Tullamore, an hour west of Dublin to visit Charleville Castle. The Gothic architecture is stunning. Seriously impressive, isn't it? Oh, she's a beauty. Yeah. But after hours of rummaging, Drew is still empty-handed. OK, so nothing in there, I'm afraid. Should we carry on? More to see? In a building of this size, not to have found something by now is uh, surprising because it's just huge. You know, there's so many corners you could just stuff something into. But, hey, it's been here a long time. A lot of people have been through here. You just have to keep your head down and just keep going. Up one more flight of stairs is the nursery. Ah, was this, this was nursery. always the nursery, was it? Yes, it was. Could this room finally yield a purchase? OK. Where did these come from? These came from uh, an old house of my mother's, and they were in the attic. They've been repaired, as you can see, several times. Yeah, OK, this chair's got a lot of different styles mixed up in here, to be honest with you. But what it does have is this fruit wood inlays that it's got here mm -hmm. and all the different ones. That's particularly nice work. Um, they're probably English, but they've got a sort of Dutch influence to them as well. And I think you're right, they're of the 18th century, of course. Had the chairs been in just stable condition, with no restoration on them, even broken with no restoration, there'd be something I'd have a go at buying, for sure. It's unfortunate the repair work that's been done on them has actually done way more harm than good. Way more harm. 
you could easily throw a grand at these and, mm. get, and get nowhere. Mm. And, you know, it's, it, it wouldn't be financially viable, really, to do those. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. It, it's, re it's really annoying when I see pieces of furniture or anything at all that's had amateur restoration done that has ruined the piece. It's something we see all the time, and I wish people would just not do it. This way. In a last-ditch attempt to find something, Bonnie and Dudley take Drew and T to the cellars. Right, be, be careful as we go yeah. through there, sir. This is a, oh, a film, props. Of film props, Castle Palooza, storage. And uh, mind your head coming down here. I Bring won't have cares. a problem before T says it. <laughs> I have said a word. Uh, looks more promising. Oh, I don't know. I'll this stop is just here. stuff <laughs> from everywhere. This was once the dining area for Castle staff, complete with mealtime morality lessons painted on the walls. I like that. I'm just going to have that in my workshops. <laughs> <laughs> Waste up what not, or you're sacked. And in no time, Drew has spotted something. The cabinet may be of interest. Where's that from? Inside the building here? Yes. <laughs> ah, I see. That's from the old uh, bakehouse kitchen area. OK, I like it. It's, it's good original stuff. Have you got any more furniture like this? It's, it's really nice, actually. I love this sort of detail on the front of the shelf there. Yeah. That's really quite nice. Yeah. Yes. The, the, the problem... Part, part of a big set of furniture fits out a whole room. Yeah, it's an original to here. So that's... You can't sell yeah, that anyway. No. no. Mm. We have to save it. Yeah, well, it's true. I understand. That's a shame. This here. So is this, oof, is this something that um, this obviously isn't original? It's more like about yeah. nine, it's about no, it's not original. It's like nineteen hundred. That. Yeah. Do you want to sell it? I think if it goes to the roof of the chapel, <laughs> could it happen. <laughs> it, 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 might, it might do three or four slates. Yeah. I never usually bother with these things, but this one's been outside for years and patinated to a really wonderful colour. Yeah, well, I wonder if somebody could actually. Remake that glass? No, it's not worth making the glass be way too expensive. It's a shame because it's yeah, way too expensive yeah. to have a cylinder blown like that. It's just uh, it's just too much. This lantern dates from about 1900, the height of Art Nouveau, with its distinctive whiplash curves. Without the glass, it's worth around 350 pounds or 400 euros. How much do you want for that then, Dudley? You know what you're looking at. I have no idea what we're looking at. <laughs> We'd have to get your technical advice. <laughs> okay, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get involved in this. If I get it wrong, Drew shouts at me. Yeah, he'll, he'll go. Yeah, and don't. it comes out of my wages if I get it wrong. Every time you speak, it costs me money. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that's probably worth, to me, um, as it stands without the glass, uh, 60. Ah. Actually, you could be 80, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, Seven, as it's going on the roof, 70 quid. All right. Is that all right? All right. Deal? You happy with that? Yeah. Thank you very much. There you go. Cheers. Good. I'm cool. glad out of all this chaos, you one found some thing. order. One thing. <laughs> yeah, that'll, one thing. Do. that'll do. That'll do for me. That's fine. Would have paid an awful lot more for it if that cylinder of glass with the little roundels in it, the bullions in there, was complete, but it's not. So I've got to literally take that out and sell the thing as it is. If Drew can find something to buy in this last room, it might make his Charleville trip worthwhile. Yeah, I found something I like. Is that one of yours, Dudley? Yeah. Dudley had been using this Singer Sewing Company stool in his workshop. They were mass-produced for use by factory workers at the turn of the 20th century. Now it's worth about £150 or €175. Euros. OK, you'll donate it to the castle, but... And therefore, you can, can now... Bid you on it. Bid the castle. 50. 
I have to I have to move you, don't I? <laughs> you don't have to move me, I can go down. <laughs> All right, we'll make it 60, I mean, that's the same as the last. For the roof, Thanks. to the chapel. Down the road for this chapel. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you 70. That's a cool. All right, well, let's take that. I'll be able to sell it quickly and easily. It won't be around for long, that's for sure. That, that I know. I was very surprised with uh, Drew's discoveries. I mean, this stool is my own. I hadn't thought about it as something of, of value. <laughs> turning out to be quite a fruitful trip. We're buying good items at good prices that I can't get in the UK as easily as I can here. It's very good. Yeah, I'll take it. Cheers. Right, we're done. Okay. All sorted. Okay. Thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure to come here today. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for coming. Your work is wonderful, and uh, I just hope everybody comes and gives you a hand. Hope so. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks for your time. <laughs> we will. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. It's been great having Drew here. He seemed to enjoy himself in the castle. I'm happy he found some things he liked. Not a horde, I'm afraid. So did you enjoy your entire Gothic experience? I thought the house was amazing. I can't believe they're doing all that themselves. Just them and the volunteers. It's unbelievable. The next morning, Drew and T are heading from Charleville to the capital, Dublin. Land of George Bernard Shaw, Oscar Wilde and Joyce's Ulysses. Along with literature and dry stout, will it be home to some excellent salvage? We are off today to see Robert Fawcett. He is part of Fawcett Brothers Circus. I've been in the circus since I left school at 16. My family's been in the circus since the dawn of time. I'm the fourth generation in the Irish line of what's Fawcett Circus. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, continuing touring circus in the world. Fawcett Brothers has been going for 125 years. More than just a circus, it's an institution, and Fawcett's has entertained generations of Irish families. Sadly, Drew's not going to see the performance today, but he'll still be entertained as Robert is opening up the storage yard for him. But they've been at this yard particularly since 1956. So. They've called us in because they're desperate for space. They want to have a bit of a clear out. What I'd love to find today is some old traditional fairground art right. or banners or signage. This is definitely the place. It's big, bigger than I thought. Large. Hello there. Hello. Hi. Robert. Hi. Drew. How are you? Good to meet you. I'm great, thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm T. Hi, T. How are you doing? Good. I'm well, thanks. Thanks for allowing us in here today. No problem. Much appreciated. More than welcome. Much appreciated. I haven't been here in a while myself, actually. Have <laughs> and you've already got a picture of Drew already. Well, there you are now. <laughs> are you interested in that? Two clowns. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, obviously, we've come to have a look through all these buildings. Yeah. Well, it's a bit of a collection, and the problem is tidying up is a lot. I don't want tidy. <laughs> I don't want tidy. I like, I like it. There's it's no not fear that I, I haven't even seen for years, so you're more than welcome to just have a mooch around. They are the original circus lighting. No. They were called a tilly lamp. They could be converted to electric easy. And you know just the man. There's okay. always a deal. There's always a deal. There's always a deal. <laughs> Not for sale, I'm afraid. I know, I know. Don't worry. OK. What I'm always looking for, I don't know if you've got any, is the old fairground lettering or banners, anything like that. Do you have any of those? No. A huge paper elephant. <laughs> yep. That's what you need, Drew. Is What's that? You, you need a huge butterfly. In my life. We got any more sheds? How do you fill all this and the back there as well? Well, yeah, we do. Under the massive shed. Well, horses, camels, elephants. You're not, jo you're not joking, are you? No, I'm not joking, no. <laughs> 
time gone by. Ah, I've just realised what we're in. We're in the ring. This is what was affectionately known as the practice shed. The practice shed. Wow. Anyway, T, I think you should be having to go on those juggling buttons, please. No. Yeah, come on, you can do this. You, know, well, you, know, I, you, can, you can juggle, can't you? My speciality with juggling yeah. is the drop. I'll try and demonstrate it to you now. Well, he was demonstrating he was. the drop, <laughs> so he looked up to us too. I'd like to suggest T stick to the driving, because I don't think there's a future in circus for him. All right, so just nip through here, Robert. Yeah, you fire ahead. Mind the dust now. Uh, I think I'll just leave you to it. So far, the back rooms are revealing none of the quality signage Drew's after. Here's my dad's electrical storeroom. I actually uh, haven't been in here in years. Fantastic. I just came in ahead and opened the door. Tell you what, T, can you yeah. pull one of these down? I just want to see what, see this thing underneath? It's that, isn't it? <laughs> these are quite funky, actually. These theatre lights look to be 1930s, but their origin is unknown. Restored, they're worth around £400 for the pair, or €465. Euros. So what sort of money would these be? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, in this condition, um, if we've got the ones with its uh, yoke on the top of it, um, I'd say €50 Euros each. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I know it's a, a family-run affair, so do you need to check with people? Yeah, well, we'll just have a look around and we'll see what you're interested in and okay. maybe we'll go back to that after. I do a lot of lamps. It's like kid in a candy shop right. for me. Loads of those. Loads of those. What about this type of light? Have you got any use for these anymore or not? No idea what they were used for originally. OK. My dad was a little bit of a hoarder. Excellent. So, which is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> these 1950s industrial light shades always sell quickly. With new galleries and chains, they'll fetch about £180 each, or €210. Euros. Well, these ones here, for that, that one there, we'd pay about... about £35 for that one, usually a bit more, but the condition's not so great on this one. I think it's possibly a little bit dented. It's just slightly out of whack. But any like that, that sort of size and this sort of yeah. colour, we're, that's the sort of money you'll pay for them. OK. So, put the, can that go in the pile? Yeah, can you? Yeah. Um, one other thing I've seen down here, Robert, okay. is these things. What wheels? <laughs> See these big lamps here? Yeah. What were they used for? I don't know. Don't know? I don't know. Again... Oh, can we get one nice. of these out? I know it's a pain, but could, yeah, could I get sure one out? Yeah, we can. It's broken, as uh, are they in strips? Uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's in strips. It's in strips. It's in strips. Yeah. So, is this ka -ching? It, it, it could be. <laughs> this could be ka for the pair of us. They're cool. That sounds expensive to me now. These theatre spotlights were made in Germany in the 1930s by a respected manufacturer called K. Weinert. Inside, they have hundreds of reflective mirrors that direct the light. Fully restored, the pair are worth around £3,000, or €3,500. Yeah, I, oh, I, yeah, look at that. I Ooh, feel money. It's going to cost you money now, Drew. Go on, then. Uh, oh, I'll have to have lunch to think about that one. <laughs> Tell you what, if I throw a figure at you... <laughs> you would want to be a large figure. 350 euros the pair. Right, I'll have to have a think about that one. Have a think about that one. It's a fair bid. <laughs> From your perspective. <laughs> From my perspective. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I've got to buy it or I can't get out. Right. <laughs> These lights just have everything, absolutely everything going for them. If I just got those and didn't get anything else for a whole day, that's worth it. OK, I'd love to see some more. Will I lead on? Yes, please. Oh, blimey. Big. OK. Drew keeps on looking while Robert goes to call his brother for a decision on the lights. This one's from Terrible Nick. That one's Fawcett there again. But it's quite plain, that one. So, no, nothing down here, I'm afraid. That's it. There's nothing else there for me. If I end up getting the lights, it doesn't matter. I could walk away from most of them, but the ones on the floor stands, I really want them. 
and I, I want them because I can actually see them finished. I see them on a, in a trade stand in London looking the part. I have to get those lamps today, they're super. So, so, are we having a deal? Drew and T are on the last leg of their Irish expedition. Today, they're on the outskirts of Dublin, in the storage yard at Fawcett Brothers Circus. The trip has been a major outlay for Drew. Nope. To make a profit, he needs these theatre lights. So is this ka it, it's It could be. But will Robert agree to his offer of 350 euros? OK, so I've had a word with my brother, and I'm just going to have to push you a little bit on these two. Oh, really? You'll have to round it up a little bit. OK. It will be 400. 400 for those? For those two. 100 euro. Yeah. 70 quid for those. It's 170. Uh, yeah. For sure, we'll have those. OK. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well yeah. pleased with those. Right, see? Yeah. Van job. Let's get them on. You've got to put yourself in the way of luck, and today we did that, and we found some lights that I absolutely love. They literally couldn't be any better. <laughs> happy enough to let go what we agreed on because I'd like to see it have a good home. I mean, I'd love to see them there refurbished and being used as opposed to just rusting away down an old shed. Whatever he passes them on for, good luck to him, he's going to do the work and refurbish them. So I'm happy enough that everyone's got a good deal. So did you like that? Excellent. Yeah. Where's Teagon? He's run off with the circus. Oh, my dear. juggling was good as well, wasn't it? Juggling? No, it was, it was a good two. Oh. It was, a, it was a, a strong three. There you go. <laughs> it's time for Drew and T to bid farewell to Ireland. So it's back on the ferry for the trip home to Conway. Ireland was just what I hoped for. We met some fantastic people and we got some wonderful stock. Lovely colour. It's great, isn't it? Just literally just dust it. Anyway, lots more tea. Have you got anything else in wrap? But there's an awful lot of work to be done. There's some big items in there that need a lot of restoration work, so we need to get stuck into it now. Ollie. Yes. I've got something for you. How cool is that? Aren't they wonderful? Nice, yeah. Best thing is look in the back. Oh, yeah. Should put the silhouette of Enzo on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. It's better than a bus. <laughs> Aren't they great? Those two German spotlights definitely shout retail or restaurant, that sort of thing. But definitely, they're so impressive that they'll be talked about. Pair of. No. Yes. Look. Oh. Woodwork Look at the widths of those planks. Woodworking. They're all oak. The entire thing is oak. The width is fantastic. You think so? Yeah. That's what we're being asked for now. This sort of comfiness of, you know, lots in the middle of your table and big feasts. So they're fantastic. Cup of tea. Cup of tea, ideally, yeah. They... It's nice, isn't it? Someone could serve you Guinness and Tatoes at the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. A few days later, Ollie has made considerable progress on the theatre lights. So that's the, the reflective back. Uh, we've, we've cleaned that up. We're, we're literally doing nothing else to it. There's a few missing mirrors, but we're going to leave them. We're having some parts manufactured where we can secure the bulb properly. Probably use quite a large filament bulb, um, which will give quite a nice look. Gavin is cleaning the school tabletops. It's a dirty job. I've been back in the Navy. <laughs> there are decades of dirt, grease and gum to wash clean. Good workout. Next, the graffiti is scraped from the legs and frame, proving that restoration work can be decidedly unglamorous. Spin the mouth. <laughs> Thank you.
Alex, the French polisher, has the delicate job of bringing out the patina. We're going to use a very, very fine sandpaper and just take the surface off, leaving all the scratches and the character in, but just um, bringing a bit of colour out of it, really. So we'll just get it absolutely glassy smooth and a nice wax, and it'll keep that original look. I mean, no one will know it's been sanded. The wax is applied with a scouring pad. Then it's buffed with a soft cloth. And finally, it's ready for Drew's inspection. You have done, done a very, very nice job on this, Alex. That's perfect, isn't it? It's come out really well, yeah. That's amazing. It'll be done today. Excellent on the website today. Ollie now has the final parts for the theatre lights and can get them in working order just in time for Drew to have a look. Wow. Good job. That's great. Yeah, just finished. That is really cool. Can we turn it on? I love the bulb. Oh, that's so good. It's better than I hoped for. Oh, look at that. We've gone from a flood to a spot. We used all the original parts. The only thing I've had is a bracket machined, a lamp holder, a bulb, and the cable. It was nice. We thought we were going to have to replace the glass, but we have kept this. I prefer that. It looks a lot better. It looks a lot better. These will go into the fashion trade. Shop window, Regent Street, look just right. Spot on. Thanks. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. <laughs> right. Thanks, all. All right, cheers. Thank you.